Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are actually in the brand new Skyblock game for Roblox and I'm actually going to be giving away two industrial smelters in today's video so make sure you stay tuned for that very very shortly because we have a lot to go over and a brand new game to explore so let's jump straight into it. As I said, Skyblock is a brand new game and obviously I am enjoying this. I have played for hours and hours and hours on this and today's video is going to be about the automated farm sy farming system and iron systems and all of those things to come. So before I jump into any of that, I'm going to go over the actual game description and the recent changelog because they just updated it last night midday. So. Welcome to Skyblock. This is an early beta version of the game where you can build your own island, create huge farms, sell items to make money, cook tasty delicacies, gather more valuable resources and more. And they just had an update log just yesterday being brand new block textures, blend, blend, oh my god, brand new rock models, click and hold seeds to now place them and they fix the starter pack not applying to accounts and everyone who owns the starter pack gets another free redeem of these as well as there are new stairs, brick and stone brick, an improved island and inventory saving and as well as they patch several ex exploits and bug fixes but I would like to say a huge congratulations to my friend Zeph who actually owns this, he is Zeph plays here on YouTube and he's been one of my friends for like what six, seven years now which is absolutely crazy it's amazing to see how far he has actually come and congratulations on being an admin for the game and earning this This is absolutely crazy and I love the game so so much so I'm like amazed to bring it here to my viewers so as I said, I have two industrial smelters to give away in this video. They are on my farm. I'll show you guys in a minute. But if you guys would like to win an industrial smelter, put down in the comment section below, hashtag Kiraberry is Skyblock, and also leave your Roblox name and your favorite thing about Skyblock in general, whether it be on Minecraft or Roblox, because Skyblock actually came from Minecraft itself, which is absolutely amazing. So I think it's really fair that we head over onto my island now and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So we're gonna quickly go and visit my island and we're gonna spawn up here and oh I need to collect all of my onions and everything in my chest as I go because it's kind of overflowing so as you can see I have a like a lot of crops a lot of crops I have tomatoes carrots wheat and onion which are the only four that you're able to get at this time so let's quickly collect all of this and then I'll tell you exactly how we did this and why we have it set up like this so come on click faster I wish there was a collect all out of the chest button that would be very helpful especially because it only stacks in fives I'm not sure why it only stacks in a fives in the industrial chest I did not want to eat a carrot I wanted to put them in my inventory oh my goodness Ah, oh well, you can only you can only win some, and obviously you guys can see I do have seventy thousand coins here that I just got from recording before I recorded this video, and I'm giving out coins in service to guys like kind of help you guys out because you guys will probably be, be new to the game just like I was the other day. So yes, these are my farms. As you see, I have them as five blocks wide, and obviously the smelter as well. But there's a reason why I have done this and why there are a lot of totems, why I have conveyors and industrial chests as well as we'll go over the smelters in a minute as well. So the most overpowered farm that you can have right now is an onion farm. They sell for 35 coins per onion and then berries shortly behind at 30 and then like carrots, wheat and tomatoes are like 5, 8 and 7 coins which doesn't really earn much but if you do have them in big quantities they earn a lot. So as you can see I have an industrial chest and some conveyors and you're probably wondering what are these for and what are these totems. So these totems are actually basically automated farming so they will actually collect the onions themselves and put them into their totems and we will replace the seed for you guys can really see it happening when one is harvest so hopefully one is harvested very very soon as you can see the onion disappears the seed is placed down and then the onion is put in the totem getting ready to be put on the conveyor belt once they come onto the conveyor belt they come down in out to the chest where I can collect them this is the best automated farming feature you can obviously do these as like what they're like go four blocks out so as you can see I have one two three four so it will affect up to this row of onions um you're probably wondering why I have um some rows of onion in the middle that are fully grown that are not being touched well there's a reason for that <laughs> I mainly have it here like this so then I can actually 
use this to my advantage because I have the VIP game pass in game I actually get the chance to double harvest as well as get like some seeds Which is amazing because especially when you are getting more seeds It is so much better. So if you do actually harvest these for example You see that I just get a plus one which means I get two onions in my bag And obviously if you get a pink plus one that means you get an extra seed and I will hopefully get one when I am harvesting the berry bush in a second but so this is the most overpowered method because these do up to four blocks so one two three four and they happen and it's just a very slow process but it actually goes very very fast when there are a lot around and obviously we can do the same with wheat carrot and tomatoes i don't know why wheat fall off the conveyor belt so easily it's kind of strange but as you see i don't have double farms for these i only have singular farms because they do not earn as much money so i have a double farm on the onions so every like see this row on every single one of the wheat carrot and tomato these will never get harvested by the totems so keep that in mind i have it like this so i can get seeds when i want to help out my friends or if they are just in need of like some tomatoes or something i let them go and harvest it as well but i will say the rarest thing here currently in this game is berry bushes you cannot buy the berry bush seeds you can only get them from your starter island you get one you get one and then if you buy the obviously this starter pack you get another one and you can kind of technically glitch buying the starter pack if you buy two very very quickly before it like gets your purchase and you get two of them just so you know in the starter pack you get 10 iron 30 wood 30 grass five wheat seeds four tree saplings and a berry bush slap sapling as well and the only way to get berry bush seeds is to harvest them and hopefully i get one i got one just before i actually started this video but it does not look like i am going to unless this last one has one for me no so when you actually harvest them you have a chance to obviously get these seeds but we did not get one unfortunately for today but we also have our iron smeltery here we have our red brick smeltery because that is what i'm using to make red bricks from my building and i'm going to be building a house very soon we also have the stone and the coal ones just being normal with their totems so if you put totems next to a conveyor belt it will just spawn the iron onto the conveyor belt rather than having to mine it like you will see in a spawn very very soon so I have two of these smelters to give away. I am so lucky that these two smelters were given to me by subscribers and friends. So everything I basically have here was for free and I felt really bad. So I went and grinded for my own pink gears and I made two industrial smelters. So I'm going to be giving away these industrial smelters, as I said, down in the comment section below. So make sure you do hashtag Kiraberry Skyblock with your Roblox username and what's your favorite thing about Skyblock down in the comment section to below to win these as well as I'll probably give you guys some coins as well because I'm going to be giving these away in the games at like all the time well at spawn i might as well i think it's only fun and fair that i help out people that help me out so much in the very very beginning of this game but what do you guys think of this obviously i am really enjoying skyblock so far as you can tell i spent hours making this especially when you can have to fake you have to face one certain way to place these blocks down and we had to go over this for hours to fix it off but trees are actually a seven by seven so as you see this will be seven by seven in between every single tree to make sure they can actually grow and you'll see flowers on your base keep them do not let your friends pick up your flowers they are used for dye and something that you will need when you are obviously smelting bricks and wanting to dye certain clay and stuff so yeah please keep that in mind when you are actually doing that but yeah this is my current base i'm really enjoying it and obviously it's only fair that i go over the spawn mechanics very very soon as well but as you can see i have blocks around my smelters it's not because people can steal things off of it. They can't actually steal anything off of your island. It's because they can drop things into it. So if I was to stand here on a conveyor belt on someone's island, I could physically like equip something in my hand and push Q and it would go into the conveyor. Obviously I'm putting onions into my onion conveyor, but people actually sit here and will spam other blocks in here. Like for example, if I wanted to put the coin bags in here, I would just have to spam it like this. Obviously it doesn't work sometimes, but they actually go into the conveyor and then you get your conveyors filled up. Obviously I do open my island for my subscribers. So that is why I have them all blocked off like this. So they can't drop anything just randomly into them as well because it does get very annoying when you are trying to clear out certain things but yeah 
this is my iron smelter as you can see i have four iron ore ones and one coal obviously you don't need much coal for these one coal lasts quite a bit so it will drop one coal and four iron every single time and obviously the more that you add you can actually like extend these out and have multiple 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 but i find this is enough as you can see it is already overflowing and i can go and collect it very very quickly so look at all the iron that i get just from like walking around my base it doesn't do much per se because I don't really need much I, I'm not building with iron as much obviously stone and that goes super super fast because it is just those and they don't have to be smelted but obviously if you have a look through like my second one will go in like as you can see like I have obviously stone 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 and then stone goes into the smeltery and that turns into the bricks it's a very complicated process, but very easy to actually set up yourself. I can actually set up one right now. I can actually show you how it's done. Hold on. Let me do this, actually, because it's actually really, really fun to work out these. So, obviously, you're going to have your, in, like, your industrial chest, and you're going to need to have your conveyors going the right way, mind you. I'll just say this. It's very hard to get you guys to, like put up this properly so like this and then you can put it like out further it's just it really depends how you want to do it and obviously you can actually select like the chest to go in and out and you can obviously like see that the fuel type is coal and that things like that but yeah this is the easiest way to farm is that i'm doing this way so put that down in the comment section below if you guys haven't already but yeah let's go check out spawn very very quickly and show you guys what you can access for free as soon as you get into the game obviously this is where you can buy your totems from if you do not know you can buy stone iron coal clay wheat tomato carrot and onion you can also sell your crops here and let's just sell some of my crops that i have it's only fair that i sell them all and obviously you can purchase the seeds for a pine sapling tree saplings onions carrots tomatoes wheat uh do not get Oh, there is a small chest there. Hello, random small chest. But there's some decorative blocks that you guys can buy. Obviously, you can buy iron as well. But I do not recommend getting pine wood unless you guys are actually using it for decoration. Uh, you cannot craft anything with it. You can only craft things with normal wood. So this is the spawn mine. Obviously, here you can get stone. You can also get coal. And there is sometimes iron here. It is a very rare, though. But that's not what I want to show you. Well, here's the iron. It's not really rare if I can see through there. But you guys get what I mean. So let's quickly chuck this all in my inventory i don't like having a messy inventory so this is our adventure and you can actually purchase a slime island key from him and you can sell these slime balls from him but yeah this is a slime key it's for 200 gold and obviously you get green slimes blue slimes and pink slimes pink slimes pink gears make the industrious smelters blue slime balls make a different one you get what i mean but that's how you get those and once you buy a key you can go in there and i will say get berry pies get bread <laughs> get a lot of carrots because you're gonna need those to replenish your health while you are in there but yeah if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel also hit the notification bell to be notified every single time i post a video or start a stream because it's gonna be coming very very soon and i yeah i hope you guys have a lovely day because i'm having an amazing day here on on here on skyblock i guess is what i mean to say but i'm just rambling at this point but yeah <laughs> I hope you guys have a lovely day or night. I hope you guys will be in the world and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye guys!